Hello, so I'm John with the Hereford FC chairman, John Hale, on top of Hereford Cathedral. And I normally interview John at Edgar Street, so it's a bit surreal being up here. Is this your first time ever at the top of the cathedral? It is at the top of this cathedral, and I can, I can vouch for the fact that it's a very long way up. So how did this all come about? I'm just going to just move there to see the, the Hereford FC flag. How did this all come about? Well, to be fair, the, the Dean contacted us um, at the start of the season when we, when we started, and uh, was very, very keen that the cathedral should show their support. Uh, wrote a personal letter to me, offering to help in any way that they could. And I, I think, to be fair, as the season's gone on, um, they've reinforced that offer of support. But perhaps, and um, we couldn't quite find a way that we could do that um, until, of course, we qualified to get through to Wembley. And um, immediately, the idea was hatched that uh, they, they, they'd raise a flag for us. And uh, you know, for this flag to be flying over this city, over this county at this time is um, incredibly symbolic, and we're extremely grateful as a football club. So we're two days away from the FA Vars final, how are you feeling? Uh, funny enough, the nerves have, have finally hit me this morning. I've been, um, I suppose, as, as, as all the staff and, and chief exec and everybody else, directors, we've all been up until this point making sure that it's in place and that uh, arrangements are, are finalised. And I think now they have been and uh, <laughs> it'll be nice to wave the players off today and, uh, and, I, and I hope that everyone can relax a bit and, and take in the weekend. So what's the latest on the potential open top bus parade on Monday? Well, as far as we're concerned, it's going ahead. Um, it'll be lunchtime, and that's um, uh, out of sympathy, really, for the players because they'll have been away from obviously this morning, right through the weekend, and then back into Hereford on Sunday night for the for the after Wembley party. Uh, and uh, they they all work, you know, they're all back to work on Tuesday. So we wanted them to have a chance to go into their families um, on Monday afternoon after the civic reception and the bus tour. Uh, and go and take it in and enjoy it with them a little bit before they uh, get back to their back to their normal jobs. Well, whatever happens Sunday, it's been a fantastic season. If you could have expected this five months ago. No, no, it, it, it's beyond everybody's wildest dreams, and uh, I'm just so pleased for uh, firstly for the players who've been absolutely outstanding. They've got us to where we are in terms of the what's happened on the pitch. Of course, they have, but I'm absolutely delighted for the supporters because. Uh, it was a very, very difficult time. Everybody stuck together and said, come on, we'll, we'll, we'll take on what was happening. And um, sad as it was when the old club went out of existence, broke our hearts, but everybody's got behind this. And it's incredibly emotional going to Wembley because it's going to be a celebration of the very existence of the football club now. And you can see what it means to everybody. Walk around the city this morning uh, at every, every week at home at Edgar Street, one and away from home. There's a massive passion for this football club. and I'd, if I could shake everyone's hand, I would, because I feel that um, grateful to, the, to everybody.